Okay, hey everyone, welcome to Mission Impact Series with Tracy and Ty. Today, we're going to be talking about being citizen focused, right? And who are the citizens? The people in your community that you serve, right? <laughs> <laughs> so we have citizen focused purpose. And the first thing that we're going to be talking about is measuring citizen satisfaction. So don't get confused by, you know, citizen satisfaction. Think about it like customer service satisfaction, right? Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to be talking today about. If this is your first time catching us, my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TVA Consulting Group. I help social impact businesses to design, build, and fund their social ventures so that they can make money. <laughs> and live so their life and impact the community. Like, right? So they can make yeah. money. So they can make money. My name is Typhoon. I'm owner of Typhoon. Enterprises. I work mostly with nonprofit organizations, helping them to move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. Citizen focus, the people. We the people of wherever you are. <laughs> like we can yeah. that's what, we the people of where what are you doing? What what are your initiatives, your programs, your businesses, and how do they support and assist these people and are they satisfied? Basically, is what it is, right? Mm -hmm. Are they and how do you measure that? And so uh, you know. Everything again, Tracy, starts with missions and goals. Everything yeah. starts with missions. What is it that you're setting out to do? Because we don't know if I don't know if you're satisfied with what I have unless I know what it is that I'm giving you and if you want this thing, right? right. Um, and then and what's the goal? So what is the goal of satisfaction? If I'm serving you, or, you know, if I'm providing you with the service, how do I know that the service is something that you are happy with? Mm -hmm. You know, or something that is beneficial to you something that is transformative uh, for you we ask you <laughs> we, we basically ask the questions we observe we find and, and those are the, you know simple measures of how you find out whether or not you're doing, doing something that's really what your population of interest needs and that is beneficial to them right and so it's just about the cost, like I said, customer satisfaction, right? <laughs> customer satisfaction. And how do you know if your customer is satisfied? Well, you gotta ask them. And if you've listened to enough of our um of our sessions, you know that you should have evaluative tools built into whatever program or service that you're offering. So you need to have exit um surveys. Um, entry surveys. So you, you, even if they're not completing the stuff effectively, or you're not asking certain questions in your exit surveys, at least you have a starting off point and an end point. So they were here when they came in, now they're here, right? So that is how you determine, like Ty was saying, you know, what are we offering and what are we expecting to happen from what we're offering? So sometimes you just offer a service and then you, you have your survey at the end. Other times you need to evaluate where people are in the beginning to determine if you worked at the end. Think about school. You know, I always go back to the school analogy at the beginning of the school year, we'll give an assessment test, right? So we know they should be coming into this grade knowing certain things, but do they know it? We don't know that, right? <laughs> so we do an evaluation test, an assessment test, to see where they truly are so we know where to start the lesson. Maybe we need to brush up on what they did last year. We take a, a week or so or sometimes even a month and brush up on the skills that they should have learned last year so that we can teach them the skills that we need to teach them this year, right? And our evaluation process will go, okay, hey, do they know the skills? Are they able now to move on and do the skills in this grade? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing when you're running a nonprofit, any type of social impact business. You need to know where people are when they come into your organization to see if that transformative effect has happened and now they're where they're supposed to be. And along that line, you have mid-level assessments where you're evaluating their, the effectiveness of the services or the programs that you're, you're giving to them. And you're asking them about their satisfaction with what is happening. Right. Because you could think you're giving the best service ever. And the person's over there scratching their head going, I don't know about this. It isn't how it was supposed to be, <laughs> you know. So and it doesn't mean that you're doing anything bad. It's just meeting expectations. 
because sometimes you have the best service in the world, but what someone else came in with in their mind as to what they're getting, they're, they wanted to get, not what they were getting, because you may have been very clear about what it is that you're offering and what they're supposed to get, but they're hearing and processing something completely different. So you need to manage expectations, and that is part of customer service. Do we all fail at it at some point in time? Absolutely. But it's being cognizant of the fact that it's there and adjusting to make sure that it works. Mm -hmm. Customer satisfaction. And you got to have Citizen satisfaction. Right? <laughs> Citizens are customers, right? And, it's, and I think about the AT&T AT all the time. You know, AT&T starts doesn't matter. Whatever happens, they're gone. Can we give you a survey after the call? Can we get after the technician mm -hmm. comes off? Are you, are you pleased with him? Would you recommend us again? That kind of stuff. That mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Yeah. And apparently, their their goal is to make the customer happy. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever your, goal, whatever your goal is in service or goal is with your, with the citizens that you serve, you want to make sure that you ask the questions that reflect that. So, are you are you are you satisfied with the way we did this? Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that and you, you have these um you know outliers if you're talking about data and you have these these external and extraneous factors um, that you're that, that may come into place and you want to make sure that whatever it is is related to you so you can when you're collecting the data and you're and you're reporting the data that you're doing it accurately because exactly i may have experienced another program that looks like yours at the same time that i experienced your program mm -hmm. and because i change and this is change hs tv again that's why i like difference and just <laughs> change, doesn't mean that your program is the program that brought about the change so you may want to ask a couple of questions you know how did how did how did you like this program? So now I know right. you're talking about mine and not any yeah. other program that was similar to this one. Right, exactly. So that's the crux of um of measuring citizens' satisfaction is you gotta ask questions, you have to have systems in place to assess that as well. And once you're doing that, you can use that information now to drive change within your own organization. All right, until next time, bye everyone. <laughs>